Hey there, and welcome back. I had a fiddle around with it, wandered around aimlessly for a long time, and the game really stumped me, but I figured some things out, so let's go. Okay, so the thing that stumped me was, we need to go in here, we go in here, and we look at this painting here. It's too hard to see what the painting is, it's covered in cobwebs and dust, so dust it with the towel it says nothing happened but something obviously did happen the secret compartment has been revealed and we take the book okay open the book this game is so buggy the book contains many spells and hocus pocus nonsense the second paragraph on the bottom contains some sort of riddle Code for the girl, code for the girl you must save, mirror image of the grave. Okay. Now, the next thing I needed to do was... And in this room this dog kept attacking me, uh, which was frustrating. It's probably about to appear. <laughs> Look at this book again. Red of liquid, heat of flame, give a drop to become quite tame. The first part of that is telling us that the red liquid will tame things. So it's a sedative or something. Is it red now? Okay, it's red now. Operate the dropper on the test tube. The, the, okay, the dropper is filled with the red liquid. Now we have to find someone to use it on. And I know just the victim. If we go to this creepy shed, this large figure angrily points at us with an axe. So we go um, operate, we use the red sedative on him. So we squirt the red stuff in his face. The hooded figure lies in sleep as your view is unobstructed of the inside of the quaint little shack. Take the axe. The axe is made from the finest steel. Excellent. Okay. Now I know exactly what we need to do with this. Let's take the lantern. Oi! Why are you trying to take me lantern? Says the caretaker. Alright, so off with his head. Your effort seems successful, as your axe beheaded the caretaker. The dog picks up the severed head and runs off into the distance. Alright, um... Talk to the caretaker. Are you okay? Huh? Speak up. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intentional. The headless caretaker... Right, I think it says the headless caretaker gives us the shovel. Um, now, if we go this, this way, this is our aunt's grave, so let's, let's dig her up out of there, open this, and we take this bone, all that's left of my aunt, I guess, it's a bone! Okay, I don't know if we'll need that, but... Okay, so now what the hell are we doing? Um... Alright, so... When we... When we look in this book... Um... It says here... Code for the girl you must say, mirror image of the grave. Now this is the classic, uh, red rum type puzzle. Where we just, um, reverse the word. So we go back this way. Grave backwards. 
Evarg. Alright, and the computer says, Potion spoiled, mixtures leak. Save the girl, or future's bleak. Girl, so far, and yet so near. Say these words to go over there. Habacus Ojeka Misto. I'm going to write that down. Okay. So now what the hell do we do? Now we want to make that, uh, that green mixture again. So we go operate the... We light the candle. This should be red. The potion is red. Okay. Now we add the gigi flower. The, the potion turns green. And then we grab some with the dropper. And we have the green liquid. Alright, so let's save again. And we should be just about ready to save the day. So I believe we go in here. And into the cupboard. Several children's outfits hang from this closet rod, as a pair of children's shoes sit alone in the corner. Apparently someone was trying to hide something by boarding up this section of the wall. So we use the axe on the wall here, and through we go. The passage walls are illuminated by a small lit torch at the end of this dungeon. Greek pillars decorate this passage way, and large blocks of brick create this ancient hall of horror. That's very strangely worded. Right, let's continue. Here we go. A dead girl lies on this slab, surrounded by deep crevices, preventing your journey from continuing in that direction. Always with these classic games, it's always, you know, save the damsel in distress. Penelope or whatever, always, you know, in chains or taken by the villain and you've got to save the blonde girl. It's, it's peculiar. You don't see that so much these days, but it was... The theme of practically every single game you know even look at things like super mario brothers and stuff like that so i didn't figure this out because i'm too stupid but on the internet it said that you speak those words um from um speak the words from the computer so we do speak and we click on her and we type habakas ojeka Oops, Ojeka Misto. And a platform reveals itself. Okay, so now we can move over the crevice. Crevasse. The girl awaits your rescue as an obvious unknown substance has kidnapped and placed her there for reasons unknown. An unknown substance has kidnapped? What? Who wrote this? All right, we'll give her the potion. The dropper wakes her up. Thank you. The girl opens the locked box and reads the letter inside. I leave to you my fortune and home for the life you saved and your very own. Although it's a lot, a lot indeed. If you wish to spend it, I'd suggest you leave. Is this, is this rhyming? It's kind of rhyming. The girl looks in horror as the plank vanishes. She quickly grabs your hand and pulls you through the stone doorway. Register to receive part two. Okay. Well, that kicked us out to the DOS prompt rather abruptly, but I'm very pleased that I finally finished that game that I started about 15 years ago and never finished, so... Thank you.